TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we will not be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, this is where any highlights and things of that nature will be posted. But you can also go to Twitch and just watch the whole live over. Don't forget, we do got Patreon Monday through Friday. And then we got merch. They hit me. This is Wendell Stoke, the city with no hope. Wendell, I ain't know you can rap, my boy. Let's get into it. Broken Britain, okay. Welcome to Stoke on Trent, a city that, if any city ever did, deserves the title post industrial wasteland. <coughs> it's a unification of six towns, about halfway between Birmingham and Manchester. And look at the state of it, folks. Everywhere I go, boarded up shops and just desolation. Stoke, very much rose to prominence, center of the pottery industry in the UK. But in the last few decades, that industry has been in heavy decline due to cheap foreign imports. Consequently, it's quite a deprived place to say the least. A quarter of a million people live in the Stoke area, yet I'm walking around what is generally considered to be the centre of Stoke, Hanley, and there are a few people around. Anywhere with a McDonald's is the centre of whatever town you're in in the UK. I noticed that. McDonald's, centre. For what you would expect being the central shopping area of a city that size, half the shops are boarded up. And most people I spoke to seem pretty miserable. So yeah, let's take a walk around Stoke today. I'll show you the state that the city is in. We'll see if we can meet any locals and see what they think about their city. Stoke on Trent in 2023. Pound Bakery, huh? It's a good name. Let's go. What's life like in Stoke? Oh, brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. What about all the boarded up shops? It's probably... Yeah, I don't know. Fuck it. Don't bother you. Yeah. Is the pub good? Probably brilliant. <laughs> I think he's had one too many, folks. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah. Get rocking. Are you picking him up? Or? I don't know. Shut the door for me. Yeah, yeah. He told me to shut the door, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you going with him, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a wild place. Hanley High Street on a Friday afternoon. I'm filming me, look. Monkey Dust Capital. Monkey Dust Capital. Yeah, if you look at all the homeless man here, mate. This is a raw hat you got on, Loki. Ooh. Monkey Dust. What's Monkey Dust? It's a synthetic drug. Yeah, like I Spice. Yeah. yeah. Hanley, where even the town hall is for sale. Sorry mate, just filming the town hall. <laughs> what just happened? A lot of people in Stoke that are hanging around in doorways and are seen to be living the street life, whether they're homeless, I'm not sure. But there's definitely a lot of drugs on the streets in Stoke. One pint of your finest, please, barman. Certainly, coming right up. There we go, sir. You wouldn't be kind enough to share the Wi-Fi code as well, would you? Of course. The network is pub Wi-Fi, and the floor in the room. Snoopers hard virtually. God damn. Isn't a safer twendle.com. Nothing at all. Back to the video. There's nothing to do around here. Nothing? Nothing at all. So how do you pass your days? I'm here on my own again. There's nothing around here. Do you go to any of like the local pubs or anything? Are any of the pubs good? Or? No, no pubs because they're too dear. Yeah. You, I mean, you, you're paying four pound for a pint. Four pound now, yeah. You know, you can get four of them for two pound. Yeah, so you're just drinking Pepsi at the moment? Yeah, Yeah. to be that one. There's nothing around here at all. When the bodies were going, 
Dus wat doe ik nou? Ik denk dat je wel doet. Nou, ik ben zo'n doel. No I spoke to quite a few people today and they, they are all seem quite down in the dumps. They say that they're bored okay. and that there's not a lot of opportunity. There's nothing to do with it around here. No. All, no. The, all I do is sit here. That's a shame, mate, yeah. Have you got any family? Well, my wife's dead and but my daughter's got kids. Yeah. So I don't bother them. Yeah. Because they had an odd life when their mother was alive. How long ago did your wife die? Ten years ago, it was Felt a bit like on your own since then. Yeah, yeah. 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 I give myself to myself. Nobody bothers me, I don't bother them. Nice, peaceful, easy life, yeah? Well, that's it, yeah, that's what I like. I've seen a few people around yeah. that seem to be, like, quite high on drugs and things like that. Do you think it's dangerous in the town centre now? Or? Well, uh, I don't trust the drugs. I used to be an alcoholic one time, and the doctor said to me, if you keep drinking like that cider, you'll be dead before you know it. You know. The cider was going to take you out? I was about 40 then. How old are you now? I'm 17, 75 now. Yep. Since I've been up to drink, up to cider, my life's been easier and I've no problems. And yeah, nothing. yeah. I just keep going and that's it. Yeah, so you'd recommend to anybody that's drinking too much that they can move their yeah. life around if they well, drink less? Drinking cider, the saints. That's true, man. Drinking, is, like, you think it's innocent, but it can get out of hand very quickly. A good drink. Especially cider. Violent. Did it? Yeah. Getting two at once. Like, I can't imagine that now. Sitting oh, no, here with no, you, no, you're the most peaceful man I've met all day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you turned, uh, used to turn quite violent when you had a lot of cider. Well, no cider, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't let nobody come near me go away. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. You could pick a fight with yourself in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that well, well, I used to be a bugger tape. I mean, I've done jails. So well, I used to be a bad And I've done jails, I've done boards, preschools. I've done all that things. And I said, well, I haven't been in trouble now for 10 years. Okay, good man. Yeah. Since you were 65. So you've lived quite a colourful life. Oh, oh, I've been everywhere, mate. Yeah. I've been in school. Liverpool prison. Warm. Liverpool prison. I've done Warm. that. I've done Preston prison. I've done Stafford, one down Bristol, one down Bristol area. I've been all over. So you spent quite a bit of time in prison as well? Yeah, yeah. 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 And you think that was drinking the side of it That's what, what led you into those bad situations? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. When I was getting in trouble, hey, <laughs> liquor was at the centre of it all. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Yeah. A what, lot of the time. What sort of what sort of charges did, were you in for? I was a vehicle. Okay, mate, yeah. Let's go robbing houses. Not the poor, let's go on the big estates. There I go. White Lightning, y'all said he's probably talking about White Lightning. A three liter cider? Discontinued after around 2000. Three liters of cider is crazy. So, let's go them places. Jimmy Business around there. Well, I'm sure that was years ago. I packed all that out now. Done your time for your crime. Learned your lessons, oh, you right, think, yeah. yeah? Yeah. Keep yourself to yourself. Well, that's the best way. It's nothing to be proud of. Now, do you feel bad about those things looking back now? The benefit of hindsight? Yeah, because uh, when I see these younger people now, they're on drugs. White Lightning, three litre cider for three dollars, three pounds is, is a. Um, no wonder it got everybody in a chokehold back then. Hey, hit the like button if you used to drink like the white cider. White lightning cider. I don't go. I've tried to tell them, but they don't listen. Yeah, if I should listen to anyone, I should listen to someone like you as well. Someone that's walked in there yeah. in the shoes they're now walking in. You got any life advice for you? Obviously, you've lived such an eventful life. Have you got any life advice for anybody? 
Gotta hear this one. That might watch the video. Relax, he might do a lot of details. Yeah. Because you're a long time dead. You are, mate, yeah. He's not coming back at all. No, there's not, mate. Uh, yeah. That's how I am now. Yeah, good man. Yeah, thanks for talking to me, Joseph. Right, Thank bro. you very much, mate. Yeah, yeah. I, everybody that I bump into, I always sit and have a conversation because you can always learn one thing from every person you yeah, meet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I said they don't bother me, I don't bother them because they know what I was in the time. So you've got a bit of a reputation around yeah, here, have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they've put up this really cool board, which is called the Face of Stoke on Trent, this um, like exhibition. And it's all the different faces of the people that live here. But even this has been vandalized. I wouldn't want to be on there. They've ripped off some of the pictures and it looks all right state. Very grim, very depressing. You know, a town's in a bad way when it can't even keep its cash converters open. Hard times in Stoke. Have you got any opinions for the camera about what life's like in Stoke? Shit. Yeah, I Why'd you say that? In the <laughs> I have, yeah. You just see it's all going rusty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did I just miss it, did I? That yeah. Been, uh, been yeah prime yeah. content. This is the town centre, the shopping precinct of a city of 250,000 people in the conurbation. A quarter of a million people. But look how dead it is. Just a handful of people walking around the town square. Nothing good about Stoke. Nothing about Stoke at all. No, it's all crap, mate. Like Nothing good about Stoke. Not even your food stand. It's crazy. That's tough. She won't make some smackheads and crackheads. It'll be alright. I think everybody does it to, to themselves. Everybody, you know, everybody's got an addiction. Everybody's got things. But that doesn't mean you have to be horrible to people. If you've got a good art, you'll always win in the end. That's all I can say. Good man. All the best, mate. <laughs> and imagine waking up in Stoke. That's tough. I've been in Hanley for a couple of hours now and I can genuinely say that I think the Reginald Mitchell, the Weatherspoons, is probably the best thing in town. It's actually quite a nice Weatherspoon, <coughs> trees outside. Yeah, but that says a lot about Hanley. What's Stoke like in 2023? I'm walking around, there's a lot of boarded up shops. Yep. What's the vibe in the town? Not very good, bros. I think it's like the council's trying to get the people. Oh, let me turn this off, sorry. Yeah, that's just probably good for the camera. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> I think you're all mic'd up. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's, it's every time we go to a lot of towns and places, and where, wherever we go, Anley or Stoke on Trent, it's no different at the most of places. All the shops are being boarded up, and you'd think you'd, you might give the retailers a bit of a break by the, the, the price, drop the price a bit, like, but they don't seem to. I think it's just. It's just how the world is, full of greed at the minute. Like, so my who gonna open a shop and get burglared the next day they open? Like that's Dog what it's given, it's given. I'm gonna steal your stuff. Is a bit of a shit tip. <laughs> Everything's just. I've stopped caring. Everything's just thrown out on the streets. Shops boarded up, and the people that live here seem to have given up on the town. Very, very sad. It's not, I mean, that construction. This was a club, yeah? What have you got to rip out? All the flooring, everything? Yeah. Strip it down to the bare bones and then probably flats, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything in this town is just like this. <laughs> Leveling up Stoke on Trent. <laughs> it can't come soon enough, to be honest. Do y'all have gentrification out there? I thought I'd tie up my video in the nicest part of Hanley That's that I nice. could find. Hanley Park. Isn't it wonderful? It's definitely the most pleasing on the eye part of this very grim town centre, Hanley. Now, I'm sure a lot of people in the comments, they're gonna write and say, Wendell, you've been unfair on the area, it's got lots going for it. I know that it's got the Staffordshire University, that's quite important to the town. I'm sure it's got some other things going for it that I haven't stumbled across, but I'm just <laughs> giving my first impressions and hey, coming Wendell, here, chill. visiting this declining post-industrial town, or city I should say, it doesn't really feel like a city. Hanley is a depressing place. 
it's really grim and it's not pleasing on the eye and a lot of the people that I spoke to they were not positive about their lives here and about the town in general. I'm not gonna lie, like this is one of the few ones where I was like, mm, nah, I, 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 they're not exaggerating. This looks terrible. It looked real terrible out there. That's tough. Still, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm going.